Come on, cow. Afternoon, everybody. Chad, Doss Farms. I think it's a good thing they're gonna replace this gate here. Uh, let's see, tomorrow morning. If you're new here, welcome and howdy. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. This is the very bottom of the driveway of my lovely wife and I's 40 acres. And our friends, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and Haley have been here from JW Welding. And they have transformed once again the property. So they put, I don't know, 50, 60 some T-posts here, 50, 60, no, it had to be more than that. Twice as many going the other way to give our cows an additional five acres of cattle. We are super excited. I'm getting ready to turn them out. I'm sure the beginning of this, you probably saw all of them running through and trust me, I'm gonna show all that footage here in a minute. You're gonna to to watch it all. But yeah, so for starters, they tore out the old fence uh, it was really just wire, fence, like cable, just to keep people from driving through. Just kind of a gated entrance, but they've reinforced everything. We're going to hang our big, beautiful, pretty gate uh, tomorrow. They're actually going to cut it in half, make it two pieces. We've got brand new arms from Ghost Controls. Um, super excited, but how cool is this? In the process of redoing all this, we put a gate right here, so now we can load and unload right here. Sorry for the wind. There is nothing I can do about it. We've already hit 40 miles an hour and it's only about a quarter to two. But yep. Now we can load and unload right here. We can literally pull in, unload cattle right there, or with my AeroQuip panels, like my heavy duty panels, we can build us a little channel right here and I can feed them right here every now and then and get them used to coming in and almost make a a corral or a catch pen or a channel. I don't need to go up the hill because we can just back our trailer right in here. And uh, super cool. So now we've got one, another one at the top, and then one up by the house, which I'll show you in a minute. But three different spots to load and unload. And again, we've only got, I don't even know how many cows we have. We need to count. Plus there's a new one. And we need to determine if it's a him or a her, a pointer or a setter. I'm hoping it's a heifer. That would be the first heifer born on the farm. We've had Frank, Patrick, and MJ Jr., all bulls. So hopefully this new one's a heifer. We're not sure yet. I couldn't get close enough last night, but it is Nellie's. So pretty slick. We'll introduce you, but I'm excited, man. I'm so excited. We didn't mulch this. There is so much vegetation in there. There's native grass. It's just, it, it wasn't near as thick as the other pasture we had mulch, the original eight acres. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm tickled, man. I'm, I'm excited. And the best part is, disregard the door and the beeping, but the best part is no more hauling water. So that's a hundred foot hose coming off our hydrant, connects to another hundred foot hose. And then right there, 350 gallons of fresh well water so if we ever decide to close off both pastures obviously we can still haul water with the uh tote but that would only be to like separate the steers and the bull it's not like a dozen head are going to be working over 350 gallons of water a day but we've been hauling a ibc tote like a half of a, an ibc tote twice a day since february 5th and that's okay that's part of it and like I said, we do have plans to transfer a water line, but heading into summer, garden hoses will be completely fine. Haley, I'm gonna need to know exactly where you saw the snake, how long it was, and why you didn't kill it. <laughs> I don't touch snakes. Same. It is over there somewhere. Over there, okay. So when we turn the cows out in a second, no one goes over there, unless you wanna yeah, that would be something you did. <laughs> we did see, what are the little green ones? Garter snakes? Little garter snakes. We saw some bright green ones. Again, the king snake looks a lot like a copperhead. It's really hard to tell. And honestly, in this brush, like at the old farm, if we saw a king snake, we were out in the field. So you had a chance to kind of check and see what it was. But out here, if you see a snake, it's going to die. 
because I can't run the risk of it, you know. They drop a cow, they drop a calf, certainly. A poisonous, for sure. I know when we lost our bull, Fred, last year, he weighed, or two years ago, he weighed uh, every bit of seven, 800 pounds, and the vet asked if we saw any marks on him, and so it must have mattered somewhat, so. Like I said, disregard the messes we gotta clean up. Jeremiah and I basically did this. This is custom. This was my design. Got the skid steer in here and we just let her rip. And he, by the way, he knows that the tires on the skid steer aren't the greatest. It's not, we didn't rent it for that purpose. We had no idea. There was basically a pond over there. He knows, but we won't tell you guys we tried to use our 1800 pound side by side on a winch to pull it out though. I can't believe that didn't work. No, but we got it right out. We'll just have to wait till this dries out a little bit and we'll just box blade it, make it smooth again. All that good stuff, but they're almost ready. They're running one last strand of barbed wire. And again, this is in record time. And how far out are you truly booked? You're probably- Two months? Probably July. If you're looking to get on the schedule, unless it's something small and he can work you in and like a, like if the weather offsets something else, yep. um, you know, but gates, you yep. can probably work in before then. Yep. So any gates, fire pits, smokers, all that stuff. I'll link his Facebook page down below, whether you're seeing us on Facebook or YouTube, but uh, it's unmatched. And this is small potatoes to some of the work he's doing. I don't want to say where you're headed or what you're working for, but you're doing a mile of pipe fence, mile of pipe fence. in June, yep. a mile of pipe fence. But your next big project is a horse farm, horse farm down in Grove. Horse arena, horse stalls. So arena, stalls, the whole nine yards. Entryway. Um, entryway, don't super cool. Good. And down in, I don't know what that was, but it felt like a pterodactyl, but yeah. It's super cool. But we're excited. We're going to see him take off here in a second, and I'll be sure and film that for you guys. So, this is where we really got stuck big time. This was a trash pile that they burned, and there's tons of like old lumber. There's tires. I mean, this is nothing nobody else has ever done on their property. I'm not going to say that I didn't leave a trash pile or two, but we'll smooth this out. It'll certainly hold cows in and we'll backfill a little bit, but it's still so wet. And we've got rain coming tonight, a two day break, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there's a 70, 80% chance of rain. So it'll sit, it'll hold cows and we'll just wait till uh, it dries out and then we'll take care of it. Might get old grandpa down here to do it. He's pretty good at uh, smoothing things over. All right, moment of truth. Hey, is that where you started a fire last night, Isaiah? Yeah, on accident. Okay. It's always an accident. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> Flip this hinge. So now we can gate these together. Those are Frank the Tank proof, tipsy proof. Tipsy proof, that sounds like a drinky drinky. But uh, I think they're way up top, but we'll see if we can see the uh, calf when they come through. But. Come on, cow. Let's see who figures it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, June. Come on. Come here. Woo. Come on.
<laughs> so that's fine. Come on. Woo! What's up, buddy? I know, you're not going. Go on. Hey, Buck. Woo! Come on. Sunny's still over there. Hey, now's the time to go see uh, if it's a heifer or a bull. Oh. Or it's a time to die, one of the two. <laughs> Man, you don't realize how big eight acres is with hills until you go looking for a calf. I was a longhorn. Where would I hide my baby? Well, I'm officially borderline concerned because this is the first time I've ever dealt with this. They are really good at hiding their babies. Apparently really good. They may give old Sasquatch a run for his money at hide and seek. Ray and Haley are in the Can-Am cruising around. Also looking. And knowing those two if they roll up on it, they'll get out and pet him or her and just leave me looking. I found him. Found him or her. I had a little one. I got good news. So I thought it was a bull but it's not, it's a heifer. <laughs> Hi, honey. Ooh, honey. Do we have a honey? That's a good name. Hi, honey. Let's take it to your mama. Woo, we got a long walk, you ready? Look, what in the world is he doing? MJ! He's over there doing wind sprints. Hey, it's your fault. Everybody else figured it out. There's no gate down there because there's no point. The gate's over her. Come on. Woo. Come on. Hey, I'd like to close this off. Let it breathe a little. Come over here. The, the grass is actually greener. It's not normally actually how it works, but here we are. Making dreams come true on Doss Farm, Sonny. 
Grass is greener. You silly cow. My goodness. Okay, I don't care. Come on. I know, I'm telling you, come on. I'll tell you what, between her and CJ, I'm like a reef run, Lone Rock. Goodness. She's the youngest heifer. She's like a teenager. 